right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. The great egg shortage is here again. <laughs> we'll see how bad it's going to get this time, but the news media is absolutely going nuts. Here are some of the articles that have been published over the last 24 hours. You have NBC, I mean, all of them, Newsweek, all of them. You know, they're all talking about how egg shortages are here. Uh, you're going to be spending more money on eggs for this Thanksgiving, for the holiday season. There's a nationwide egg shortage ahead of Thanksgiving right here, it says. So all these articles are coming out, and it's all over social media. There's going to be an egg shortage, and you're going to be paying more for them. And why, may you ask? Because of the horrible, horrible bird cough cough. I can't say things on this channel because we're living in censorshipville. There are all kinds of purple, blue-haired keyboard commandos hard at work over at YouTube trolling my channel and other channels as well and making sure that we don't say anything that's outside the realm of what the CDC and the FDA is currently approving. And so that brings me back to this whole Trump thing. You know, there have been some of his appointments that I have been absolutely ecstatic about and then some of his appointments that makes me absolutely mad angry you know i blow my top i don't understand some of the things going on with this man and um sometimes i look for strategies and i'm like okay maybe he's doing this, this is what's going on here and other times i'm like gosh can he just get the swamp creatures away from him and listen to the people at his rallies what do they want what do the people at the rallies want um and I, I feel the frustration on social media. I'm seeing a lot of you guys uh, on social media really upset and confused. And I'm one of those people, too. But the reality is, you know, you know, the, it's the sausage factory. It's D.C. It's a swamp. And, and it's going to act like a swamp. It's going to stink like a swamp. Have you ever been in a swamp? It smells. It's putrid. There are creatures there that will bite you, stab you, or stick you. And, you know, it's just one of those things about a swamp. So... Let's get into the egg thing. Let's go to our first article over at Yahoo. It says eggs are getting scarcer and pricier ahead of the holidays, and here's why. And, of course, it's being reported by CBS News in the Morning, which is a liberal trash-talking show. Um, Americans planning to do some holiday baking this year may have to scramble, pun intended, to track down a key ingredient. Some stores around the U.S. are running short of eggs, especially those operating in states that require eggs from cage-free hens as cases of highly, highly pathogenic avian influenza flare and the virus spreads from wild birds to commercial flocks, more than 40% of the nation's roughly 3 million egg-laying hens are raised in cage-free facilities, but roughly 60% of bird flu cases recently detected involve cage-free farms. Now, let's full stop here a second, and let's just digest this and interpret this the way it's supposed to be interpreted by the people who are writing it. And that is cage-free is dangerous. And don't you know, all you homesteaders out there, all you backyard chicken owners, you too are putting everyone in danger because your chickens are also cage-free because you don't raise your chickens in an <laughs> appropriate caged, controlled environment. And so you're putting everyone's health at risk. That's Read that, read that paragraph again. And understand that's the message they're trying to drive home. See, everything has a message to it. Everything has an agenda to it. They're trying to lay down the groundwork of how we need to control your food because growing food is dangerous and only the professionals should be allowed to do it. It's the same way with homeschooling and firearms. Only a professional should be allowed to own a firearm. Only a professional to be, should be allowed to teach your children. Only a professional should be allowed to practice medical care and medicine. And only a professional should be allowed to grow food. Because otherwise, anything else is dangerous and you might kill everybody, including yourself. And so to protect you, to keep you safe, we're going to make sure that only the professionals grow caged, controlled chickens in caged, controlled environments. And so that the eggs that you eat can be plentiful and abundant. Don't you know? It's because of you backyard chicken owners who are out of control that we now have to pay higher prices for eggs and they're becoming scarcer and scarcer and scarcer, you know, everywhere you look. That's the message from that paragraph. If you don't see that, I'm sorry, you're blind. But that's what they're trying to promote. That's what they're trying to instill. The idea they're trying to plant in your head. Don't doubt me on this. They want to control everything. 
And, you know, whether this administration comes in and changes some of that and puts people in place who are going to fix some of these things, I mean, I don't know. It remains to be seen. All we can do is sit down and watch the show. Enjoy the show. And go along for the ride. But I think we need to make our politicians and bureaucrats afraid again because they want to come in and say, you know what? If anyone's going to grow eggs, it's going to be the bureaucrats. (sighs) Bureaucrat eggs. Let's keep going. After two months of no outbreaks, we had them recently in Utah, Oregon, California, and Washington. And three of those states are exclusively cage-free. Emily Metz. Chief Executive and, brand, and President of the American Egg Board told CBS Money Watch, After a brief respite from bird flu among commercial egg producers, HPAI struck again starting in mid-October, resulting in the loss of 2.8 million birds. The nation's egg production fell 2.6% last month from a year ago to, and is projected to be down 1% this year versus 2023. 1%? So why are we even talking about this? Why are we make, Why is every news outlet talking about this right now because there's an agenda there's a message they want to put out and that message is that you backyard chicken owners you homesteaders out there who raise your own chickens or those of you who advocate for cage-free animals and cage-free birds you guys are wrong you guys are the unprofessionals leave it to the professionals to grow your food you put people's lives in danger that's the message they're trying it's one percent This is not going to affect, you're still going to be able to get eggs, ladies and gentlemen. And you're definitely going to be able to get eggs if you have your own birds. And that's the thing they don't want you to be able to do. Don't doubt me on this. This is the agenda. They want to control everything. And they're not giving up just because there's a new administration in town. And you can say, well, this is just a continuation, Zach, of the thing we had before. Okay, perhaps, maybe, we'll see. We're going to sit and watch the show. But don't doubt me that the World Economic Forum and the United Nations and all these people control the media. They can control the media outlets, the talking heads. And that is the message they're trying to give right now. Let's move on. This article also came out this week. I thought it was absolutely fun and fantastic. One country's solution to a cow shortage. Oh, we'll milk the fish. What in the world are you talking about? We're going to milk the fish. Indonesians see promise in powdered milk derived from the flesh of fish, but not everyone is convinced. You can count me as one of those people right here. I'm not convinced. Not not convinced. Now, this was put out by the Wall Street Journal, which means it's under a paywall. And I tried hard to find some archived version of it. Sometimes you can find these things outside of a paywall, but I could not find it. Um, But let's just read a little bit of what it says here down at the bottom before it cuts into the paywall. Um, It says, milk, fish milk powder comes in a carton and is mixed with water. There are chocolate and strawberry versions. Oh, well, that sounds great. Uh, I'll, I'll just read what I can read here. In this place in Indonesia, grocery aisles are filled with a range of milk options. From almond to soy and goat to uh, goat to oat. But have you heard of fish milk? And that's where it ends. Have you heard of fish milk? So I can't read the article. I'm not paying some stupid liberal rag because they're all a bunch of liberal rags. I'm not going to pay them money to read the rest of their article. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to go with the headline. They're trying to make now <laughs> milk from fish. <laughs> Uh, it's that meme. What's that meme? Um, oh, here it is. What are they doing down there? God says, angel says, well, they're making milk from almonds. God says, what? I gave them like eight animals to get milk from. Angel says, they don't like that milk. (laughs) It's like, how many things can you try to get milk from? What in the world? The Bible mentions milk um, and cows a number of times uh, all throughout the Bible. It's mentioned throughout, scattered throughout, splattered throughout. (laughs) Uh, Milk is completely fine to drink. I love milk. I love my war clem because I can't say that other phrase. I have to say war clem because that is a phrase spelled backwards. That gets me in trouble every single time with the pink-haired keyboard commandos over at YouTube headquarters who troll my channel on an absolute daily basis, making sure I don't say anything outside the norms of the CDC. Uh, You can get some of those. uh, Where is it? I'll just go ahead and hold it up again every time I mention it. War Clem over at uh, JS Genesis Designs. Where is that card at? 
Did I lose the card? Let me see. I, it's not here. Uh, oh, wait, there it is. One of my kids. Oh, sorry, knocked it on the floor. Uh, there we go. JSGenesisDesigns.com. JSGenesisDesigns. They have these for sale, War Clam posters. And um, I don't know if they're going to... Everyone's like, Zach, you got to put that on shirts. I know. I just listen. I got a bazillion other things I'm trying to do right now. Um, I, I Maybe at some point we'll get them on shirts. Uh, maybe JS Genesis Designs will start selling the shirts. And then you can buy them from them. Um, anyway, I got to get more of these printed. I'm out of Stupid Your Hurt shirts. Uh, if you want your own Stupid Your Hurt shirt, you can get it from Teespring down in the link below. Um and, and you get it from there. But uh, I do sell these on my own through my retail. And th when I go to speaking events, I have usually have a table full of these things and I'm almost out. All I have is smalls and mediums right now. So I got to get another order in um, with, um, oh, what's that company? What's that company? I can't remember right now. <laughs> It'll come to me. But I got to get another order in. In fact, I got a whole bunch of shirts I got to order through them here soon. So if you know what company I'm talking about, you leave a comment below. Anyway, uh, you can get them from Teespring if you want to get one right now. Stupid should hurt. If we had more hurt in this world, we'd have an awful lot, lot less stupid. Uh, real quick before we go, let's go ahead and go into this. I just wanted to show you that they are continuing to put out information. The news media are putting out information on different sources and different ways for you to get milk. Here's one on cockroach milk. Yes, I said that. Cockroach milk. Here's all you need to know about nature's unlikely superfood. Now, I won't go into all the details about how they get the milk out of the cockroaches. It's a very painful process for the cockroach, and it's not fit for camera. However, let me just tell you that they are continuing to push this narrative because they have an agenda of control. They do not want you to have your own ways of getting food. They want to have a control system where you only get certain foods from them. Because this is going to be a processed food, a food that only they can deliver to you. Because you can't, like, you know, buy a bunch of cockroaches and milk them yourself. No, you can't. do. You have to have special machines where you put the cockroaches in. And, you know, they have those little tiny milking systems. And, yeah, I'm just kidding. But you know what I'm saying? They, they want you to get food from them. They want you to live in a Truman Show 15-minute city where you have no idea what's happening outside of your 15-minute city. And so if a 15-minute city completely disappears or is being forced to, you know, subsist on cockroach milk. The 15 minute cities that are next door hear nothing about it. They have no idea what's going on in their 15 minute city because you're in a 15 minute city and you're completely controlled, especially the information that comes in and out of that 15 minute city. That's where we're headed, folks. So again, we need to make these bureaucrats afraid again and let them understand, hey, no, we will control our food. If you want real food, you're going to have to try and grow it and raise it yourself because they are, are they are basically ruining all of the food supply. You have no idea what's in your food anymore. And, and we're going to do a video coming up soon. I'm going to show you this specifically that they are lying to you about what's in your food. The, the ingredients list means nothing anymore. What they tell you on the labels means nothing. You must switch your mindset to get to a place where you can either grow and raise your own or you find others who grow and raise their own and buy from them because you trust them because the system can no longer be trusted. But what do you think? Listen, this would all be cleared up and fixed tomorrow if stupid just hurt. Listen, you know, the next time a bureaucrat says, hey, we should all, you know, eat cockroaches and drink cockroach milk. Okay, well, that's going to hurt. Hold still. <laughs> Because we got to get rid of the stupid here real quick. <laughs> if we had more hurt in this world, we'd have an awful, awful lot less stupid. We'd have an awful, awful lot less people drinking cockroach milk. And all these other weird milks. <laughs> Almond milk. <laughs> and you can find the shirt down below. Link in the description below. Stupid shirt over at teespring.com. Uh, let me know if you get a shirt. I, I would love. If you have a shirt already. If you bought a shirt from me at one of these events that I go to. I really enjoyed going to the SOE uh, event um, in Tennessee. That was fun. I sold a bunch of shirts over there and um, always sell a bunch over at the Homesteading Expo in Marshfield, Missouri. I'm going to be there again probably um, this summer. So, And then I think I'm going to be in Oklahoma this spring for a speaking event. I hope I get to meet you there. I'll let you know more details as they come about. All right, guys. Hey, leave a comment below. 
share this video on social media and lets people know and lets YouTube know that people watch and enjoy my channel. Don't go before you hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, see you next time at the homestead. Bye. One of the best perks about living off grid is that I never pay an electric bill. I love being my own power company, but that means when things go wrong, I have to be the one on call. So I try and use reliable components for my power production. For the last couple of years, I've been promoting UPI solar generators. I've been using them and abusing them, and as it turns out, they are pretty good products. They have power generators for all occasions, and they can be charged by permanent or portable solar panels, as well as AC power. They offer true lithium iron phosphate batteries, and this is important. Recently, a family in my area had a different brand that uses the less stable nickel manganese cobalt or NMC type batteries. The unit caught fire in the middle of the night. It was a scary situation and it caused damage to the home, but thankfully nobody was hurt. The generator, as you can see, was a total loss. This drives home the point on why it's so important to employ solar generators like the UPI's brand that uses the much more safe and stable technology of lithium iron phosphate, otherwise called LIFEPO4. They offer small generators for travel or for powering an entire home and everything in between. These are great backups to have in a medical emergency or to power a freezer full of your favorite meat products, or as I have shown in past videos for even backup AC and DC power sources for ham radio communications. If the grid goes down, you're gonna be thankful you have one of these units. You can find the link in the description of this video or click on the banner ad found on the front page of our website at AmericanHomestead.com. Right here, that banner ad, right there on an AmericanHomestead.com. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait. <laughs>